What up, party people? Back to school fashion. New year, new you. We've decided to challenge five chains to see who sells the best back to school fashion. The catch? They don't know they're competing. They don't even know they're in this video. We're just gonna shop at five stores, wear the outfits advertised on their mannequins, and see what happens. If I roll up to school day one dressed like this, I'm here to f it up. All on a brand new season of Candid Competition. Candid Competition. It'll be fun. Or maybe it'll be a disaster. And then children will know who sells the best outfits. As modeled by me, an adult man. I think that there was always an excitement about back to school, right? It's like, who am I gonna be this year? I can totally reinvent myself. Of course, every year I was exactly the same. I buy new notebooks, new pens. This is the year that I finally get it together. Elementary school, mom dresses you. Middle school is the first time when you start to sprout your little baby wings and say, no, mom, I'm gonna dress myself. Yeah. Mom, but also I would like you to pay for it. Mom. mom. <laughs> so today we're gonna hit up Target, Gap, JCPenney, Walmart, Coles. We're gonna leave it up to the brands and what they wanna show us. So, I am only going to dress based on what the mannequins there are wearing. Again, children's clothes. Children's clothes. We're gonna be judging the outfits on price, comfort, and style. I really don't know what to expect today. Is it gonna be like cool kids or is it gonna be like, ah, oh, you know, things haven't changed. Target. So I'm not like a hashtag Target girl, but there really is so much to do here. Once Target added Starbucks, really changed the game. Wow. These are school uniforms. I was gonna say, what lame children. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is funny. I would've worn this. They're already selling Halloween stuff. This is exciting. Kids are fearless. Very bold Kids shirt. are brave. Wow. I was none of these things as a kid. It's, it's ugly, but it's hip. Wait, are kids wearing little joggers? This is hip stuff. I see a lot of great stuff in here, but really, these are our two choices. I like this because his outfit says suburban white boy, his pose says he's about to drop the best mixtape of 2018. <laughs> this totally is you. Yeah. It's 100%. I told you, I shopped at Target. This is totally more me. This is Ned. This is Ned. We so far, we found the three of us. I haven't found Eugene yet. Uh, there's no Eugene at Target. That's a fair point. <laughs> a child's, <laughs> child's large is pretty close to me. I think that's gonna fit. All this time, I've been like trying to find the form-fitting clothes in the adult section, all, I could have just been shopping with the kids. You know, I like that boys these days are, are willing and comfortable wearing pink. New year, new me. Where did you shop growing up? I, as a kid, my mom brought me to Gap, and I hated Gap. I made my mom take me to like skateboarding shops, and then I would just buy clothes that were way too big for me. I don't know if Gap has changed, but my impression of it is still that it's for lame people. This is Baby Gap. I own that shirt. You do own that shirt. I own that shirt, I own that jacket. I've definitely worn, wow. Wait a minute, are you a hot baby? Thank you. We got some hip kids to choose from. They're very wow. progressive, very forward here. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, without, no hands. Kids without hands. Uh, the Gap asked us not to film, however, we found some super cute outfits. I actually gotta say, I was very impressed with the looks in there. Tons of different mannequins, a lot of different styles to show off. Frankly, a lot of things that I would and do wear. And uh, now we're on to the next store. Which is JC Penny doing it right. I don't think I've ever been into JC Penny. I, I don't think I've been doing it right. Boring, boring, boring. He's cool, he but he's like... a he's a big kid. <laughs> this guy is taller than you. This kid came back from summer break with a mustache. Growth spurt hit him hard. <laughs> this is good. what we thought we would be getting. Wow, that's a good joke. It's funny. It's, it's... stupid. I feel like this is what young Sheldon would wear. Cool bus. Boop boop. Beep beep. Slowly zoom behind me. They have the JoJo Siwa line. I know we are filming a video. Can we just go like look at the toys for one second? Now, which toys are you gonna look at? All of them. No, we can't look at all the toys. Okay. You can look at one aisle. Okay. Pick your aisle. One aisle? Pick aisle. Really? Yeah. And then I can buy anything in the aisle? It's Ned's credit card. I don't care what you do with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, well, I think we should leave. New year, new me. I don't want to spin into those people. What up, Walmart? What up, Zach? Grocery, pharmacy, and so much more. Eat your pills and pills you eat. Huh? Go back big. That's what I'm talking about. It's a warehouse superstore. A warehouse superstore. Whoa. Oh, damn. Whoa. It's a shark in space shredding a guitar? I think those are pajamas. I don't care. 
Wow, Walmart, wow. Walmart's <laughs> dope. Excuse me. It's that's, different type. Yeah, you can, yeah. Well, that's clever. What a bounty. Look at all these sodas. Uh, I wish I could be them. They got Tostitos. This is a cool look. I want to look like this kid. Let's find that outfit. It's a whole wall of milk. You can grill. The dinosaur fashion at Walmart, hot. Oh, look. Oh, look, look at that. We haven't done any of that. Yeah, yeah it's just that? very loud. Keith, we have a problem. What? There are no mannequins here. There's a boy on a ball on a picture. Um. Oh boy, Rick, I don't see any back to school mannequins. Shut up, Morty, shut up. Just get a hold of yourself, Morty. I hate to say this, Keith, but without mannequins, I don't have a point of reference of what to dress. And I, I think Walmart has to be eliminated. Eliminated. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I wanted to win my heart. New year, same me. Same me competition. I love Kohl's. I, I got all my clothes for high school at Kohl's. They all look like you, Keith. Yeah, this is what I wear. All these outfits are awful. Whoa, they look pretty handsome to me. This is honestly who I could be. This is who I want to be. When I was a kid, I wanted so badly to be a skating kid. I, I wore the clothes, but I was kind of terrified of skateboarding. I had a lot of friends who were very good skateboarders. So one day, you know, we all went out together. We got to the top of the hill, and it was my first time skateboarding and they just went down. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I went down the hill, but as I was going down the hill, I realized there was a stop sign ahead. They never told me how to slow down or stop. So I freaked out and I just jumped off the board. I stumbled, I fell down, I rolled around. I cut up my, my hands, my knees. And so I just kept like limping after them. And it was one of those things where I held the pain in for about two hours. And as soon as I got home, I started crying. I think now as an adult, I can finally accept that I'm not you. I don't know what else there is to say. New year, new... It's fashion time! We have our four outfits from Target, Kohl's, Gap, and JCPenney. And a moment of silence for the competitors that we lost along the way. I'm sorry, so the whole sorry. Of mine. Let's just get into it, huh? Up first is Target. Do we know how much these cost? Uh, this is my first time trying on children's clothes since I've been children. There are 16, which means they're made for 16 year olds. They may not fit. They fit perfectly. <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, that looks amazing on you. Does it looks it look like good? it was built for you. <laughs> Does it look good? Wow, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, I look like a Sim starter pack character, right? Like, I look more like a computer-generated version of me than a real human. If the Sour Patch Kid became a rapper in the early 2000s, this is what he would look like. You know, I was kind of expecting that these clothes would look very funny on me. Turns out I fit these very well. Give us a spin. You, you want to spin? Yeah, give the metal camera a spin. Can we see the butt? Yeah, you can see the butt, why not? Mm. You know, not much going on. I think that's less Target's fault and more Margot and Adam's fault. Those are my parents. All in all, this is a good outfit. I am impressed with how stylish this look is. I think it plays better on my boyish body than it did on the boyish mannequin. All right, up next, Cole. So Cole's is where Keith Habersberger shopped as a kid, and if you ever forget it, just look at what they sell. Wow, those are some baggy jeans. I'm getting hardcore Jenko flashbacks. I used to rock Jenko as a kid. I looked dumb. I don't think this outfit benefits from having a shirt underneath it. I feel like Coles heard the 90s were coming back and they were like, ooh, let's focus on the bad parts. There are adult men everywhere dressed like this. In fact, this is like pre-Queer Eye Zach. And Tyne would be like, oh my goodness, what is, what is going on with this outfit? It's far too boxy. We need to do something about these pants, roll them up, show a little bit of ankle, and then now we need to talk about confidence. For the price, I'm not super impressed with the quality. This isn't even a boot cut. This is a... Regular fit, maybe? It's not my regular. It's awful. It looks great. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's an awesome outfit. I think it looks good. I would roll up the sleeves a little bit. I would yeah, maybe do three halfway quarter. button up the button down. I could have fulfilled my skater boy dreams. Instead, I look like Keith. <laughs> no. 
Next. What's going on with that flower? Uh, this was, uh, I, I, it was an iron-on. So you, so you chose that? Yeah, I chose that. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad boy. This one, they only had a 14. I'm just gonna warn you right now, I don't think I'm gonna fit into it. It looks great, dude. Oh, wow, I look amazing. I've never looked better. The most fun part about shopping in a children's section is that I get to be the big boy. Do I look genuinely cool or do I look like a teddy bear got dressed up and came to life? I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I owe Gap an official apology. I just, I thought it was a nerdy store. This is a cool outfit. I'm gonna keep this. God, I always had that dream of like having that summer glow up. It never happened. <laughs> I believe this is too high fashion for a kid. What kid you know is showing off ankles like that? G for Gap? No, G for G. Wow, that's cool outfit. G, wow, that's cool outfit. <laughs> it is also the most expensive by far. What child is worth $100? <laughs> They're gonna outgrow it like this. Dropping $100 on a single outfit, it, it feels reckless. Maybe reckless is just the kind of guy I am. Maybe I'm just a bad boy. All right, we should move on. We probably should, but will we? Oh man, it's JC Penny. Take a look now, it's JC Penny. Focus on. Uh oh, uh oh. Got our first ones that are gonna. Ugh. Ugh. They look good. <laughs> they feel awful. JC Penny, you get the ankle seal of approval. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're boring me. No, you're overreacting. Did you just make a boron joke? Very good. Yeah, very science. good. This is so funny. Yeah, this is very similar to Cole's, but just totally better. <laughs> the jeans are a better fit, the overshirt's a better material, and the undershirt, so soft. I think this is a great look. However, this is not the look that was advertised, if you will. God, why do I look like such a giant nerd now? This shirt was cute. The pants are a good fit. I look like a dweebus. Oh, Basinga. I definitely look like a kid, but I don't feel like a big boy. I feel like a boy. It's a little pricey. It's a little, it's a little pricey. I realize as I'm talking this through, I have no gauge for how much children's clothes should cost. It is time for my final decision. Fourth place is easy, Coles. You may be good enough for Keith, but you are not good enough for me. Third place was tough. JCPenney, I loved your outfit. You almost ran away with it. However, your styling of the mannequin left some things to be desired, and for that reason, this is where I leave you. First place is a toss-up. Do I give it to Gap? Clearly, the coolest outfit, but at what cost? Or do I give it to Target with a fashionable and sensibly priced outfit? I have made my decision, and I shall reveal the winner to you now in a classic back to school photo shoot. At the end of the day, it's not about the stores that sell the clothes, but the kids who wear them. Who am I to give advice? I'm nobody but take a listen. Any outfit's a back to school outfit, as long as you feel good wearing them. New year, new me indeed. I said that in front of every store. My TI-89 calculator's out of batteries again. Do you want to go with me to the dance? Oh, okay, I understand. And at the end of the summer, the world hadn't changed. I changed. Here's the deal, this video is not sponsored by Tide, but it could be, so we're gonna film a quick little Tide music video just in case. Fire, but please, get, we need your money, Tide. <laughs>